Autumn by John Clare I love the fitful gust that shakes the casement all the day and from the glossy elm tree takes the faded leaves away, twirling them by the window pane with thousand others down the lane. I love to see the shaking twig dance till the shut of eve, the sparrow on the cottage rig whose chirp would make believe that spring was flirting by in summer's lap with flowers to lie. I love to see the cottage smoke curl upwards through the trees, the pigeons nestled round the coat on November days like these, the cock upon the dunghill crowing, the mill sails on the heath a-going. The feather from the raven's breast falls on the stubble's lee. The acorn near the old crow's nest drop pattering down the tree. The grunting pigs that wait for all scramble and hurry where they fall. OK, so this poem was written by John Clare, who probably wrote this in the mid-1800s, yeah? And the poem itself is a beautiful description of autumn, yeah? It just describes all of the beautiful characteristics of autumn. So let's go through it. I love the fitful gust that shakes the casement all the day. So firstly, the casement. The casement is a window, a casement window. And there are gusts of wind that shake the window. And if they're fitful, they happen from time to time. So fitful gusts that are sh a wind that are shaking uh, the window. And from the glossy, the shiny elm tree takes the faded leaves away. So it's autumn and the leaves are faded and they've started to shrivel and they're going brown. And this wind is taking the uh, sh the leaves away from the glossy bark of the elm tree. Yeah, twirling them, making them go round and round by the window pane. Yeah, the pane of glass, the thing that you can see through with thousand others down the lane. So the wind blows the leaves away in the thousands and they go uh, they go flying down the lane with the wind twirling as they go. I love to see the shaking twig dance till the shut of eve. <clears throat> so the wind makes the twigs, the little the little bits of wood at the end of the trees shake. And here he's using a metaphor. See the, see the shaking twig. It dances. So this movement, he sees it like a dance. Yeah. Until the shut of Eve. So Eve is evening. So until it gets dark. The sparrow on the cottage rig, whose chirp would make believe that spring was just now flirting by in summer's lap with flowers to lie. So the sparrow is a little bird and the rig, I think, is the ridge, the very top of the cottage roof. And it's probably a thatched roof made of straw. Oh, so the sparrow is chirping. Chirp, chirp, chirp. If you listen, you can hear the birds chirping. Just about. There we go. OK, so and the chirp of the sparrow would make you believe that spring, that it was spring, was just now flirting by. So to flirt is to um, play with someone, uh, showing them that you like them and you find them very attractive. But here it also has the idea of passing by. And here with the next bit, I think spring is flirting with summer, yeah? And it's lying in the lap of summer, yeah? And the sparrows, the birds are chirping so happily that you'd think it was in, we were in spring going into summer, just like it is now. And um, 
that spring is full of flowers and it's put flowers in summer's lap because it's flirting with summer and it's in love with summer. I love to see the cottage smoke curl upwards through the trees. So the cottage, he obviously there's a cottage here um, and there's smoke coming out of the chimney and it's going round and round and up through the trees. The pigeons nestled round the coat in on November days like these. So a dove coat or a pigeon coat. This is a house for pigeons or for doves. Yeah, so a little wooden house high up on 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 the roof on a roof or on a wall. So they're nestled, they're huddled. I like the word nestle because it evokes the idea of nest. But if they nestle, they're close to each other. Yeah, they, so the pigeons are close to each other. A baby nestles in its mother's arms. So the pigeons nestle around the dovecote, around their house on November days like these. So it's November and autumn is well on its way. The cock on the dunghill crowing, the mill sails on the heath are going. So there's the cock, the rooster. Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. Nope, I don't hear anything from him today. On the dunghill. The dunghill is the, a mountain of excrement, dung. Yeah, and very often you'll find the dunghill is the highest point. So the rooster gets on the dunghill. And the mill sails on the heath are going. So here it's talking about a windmill and the the windmill, it has uh, like canvas sails to make the it go round, the, the it go round and round. Yeah. And on the heath, the heath is a flat area. Yeah. So the sails of, of the mill, of the windmill are going round and round. And also this is a busy time of the year for all the miller. Because all of the wheat and corn and cereals have been harvested and now they need to be ground. The feather from the raven's breast falls on the stubble lee. So a raven is a black bird and a feather from its breast, from its chest, falls on the stubble lee. So lee is a field. And the stubble, we saw this word the other day, when they cut or harvest the crop in a field, there are always these little stalks left these that stick up out of the ground. And that is stubble. So a field full of stubble, yeah, which means that the harvest has been completed. So autumn again. The acorns near the old crow's nest drop pattering down the tree. So if you know about it, acorns come from an oak tree and these are ready, these are ripe in autumn and they drop from the tree. So in the in the oak tree there's a, the nest of an old crow, an old bird, and the acorns are dropping, pattering. The rain was pattering on the roof, so they come falling down. And if you've ever seen an oak tree in autumn full of acorns, when the wind blows, suddenly you get quite a lot of acorns dropping. The grunting pigs that wait for all scramble and hurry where they fall. So one of the favourite foods of pigs is acorns. Yeah, pigs should be fed on acorns. It makes the, the, the best pork. So the grunting... <laughs> Pigs, the grunt, the pigs are waiting for the acorns to drop and they scramble, they rush, they go as fast as they can, they compete with each other and hurry to the place where the acorns fall. So there it is. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Um, Autumn by John Clare.